This week, a behind-the-scenes look at candy making. We're at Dickinson's Candy in Old Orchard Beach. They're staying open through the holidays this year with a treat for the kids. My name is Mike Dickinson, owner of Dickinson's Candy in Old Orchard Beach. Uh, right now we have Heather here and Diane making almond butter crunch. Uh, almond butter crunch is an almond butter toffee coated with milk chocolate and ground almonds. So Heather right now is dipping it in the chocolate and then she passes it off to Diane and Diane coats it in ground almonds. And then usually it takes about, about an hour or so to, to uh, set up and then it's ready to eat. It's one of our go-tos, one of our uh, staples for our Dickinson's candy. People come from far away for our almond butter crunch. All right, so Mike and I, we're gonna make the um, gumdrops for the side of the house. For the, yeah, for the gingerbread okay. house. We'll go see the house in a yep, second. that sounds good. And you can rest it on the edge oh. of the, okay. yep, you got it. Just like that, perfect. It is pretty hot and I want you to be careful. So what mm -hmm. is this? So this is corn syrup and sugar and water. These are decorations for the side of the... They are decorations, yep. yep, for the rooftop of the gingerbread house that we had built. Yep, they're heavy. Yeah, they're, they're anywhere from three to five pounds a piece. So whenever you build the gingerbread house, I mean, of course, you've got sheet panels about this size. And what we're going to do is we're going to adhere the panels of gingerbread all on the face of it, down the sides, along the roof line. Uh, once we open up the doors uh, to the gingerbread house for the kids to pass through and such like that, it'll be in its complete state. We have to dig into the toffee butter crunch before we leave. Mm-mm, good. Oh. 